PG&E crews can be seen driving up and down downtown Calistoga all evening because they are slowly restoring power to parts of Calistoga and the North Bay where they've been cut off overnight since Sunday. And so out here, people are really excited to see the lights coming back on, but it was a pretty stressful evening and a lot of businesses ended up losing business because storefronts like this one have signs up that say that they were closed because of a power outage. The lights are back on for parts of Calistoga as pg e crews are making their rounds restoring electricity on Monday night. The power company decided to shut off power in high fire risk areas with an advance notice. Businesses in downtown Calistoga were forced to close their doors. I lost a bunch of pound cakes last night <laughs> because the power went off. Uh, and we have a special event on Wednesday and I honestly didn't know if we were going to be open to do it. It's a benefit for our little museum. And then my husband ended up having to do dishes today because we had no power last night when our catering came back. You know, so it's little things and big things. Executive chef Kevin Kathman of All Seasons Restaurant says the stress was overwhelming Sunday night at 8 when their power went out as they served customers and attempted to salvage perishables. Pretty tricky situation. Uh, we had a restaurant full of guests. We had to finish cooking for them. And then try to get all the food in, in a safe zone. Uh, basically tear down all the coolers, break everything down, get everything into the walk-in, packed in ice, um, and then wait until this morning. And hopefully it was going to hold overnight, which it did. And then we packed it all in dry ice again this morning. Luckily, the power came back on the next night, and they were able to save $12,000 worth of inventory, but lost a day's worth of revenue. Now that PG&E is implementing this new proactive plan based on weather conditions like strong wind and low humidity, Chef Kathman is worried about how often and how long they may have to deal with the next power outage. It's a great measure for safety reasons, but it's still, you know, having a window of 48 hours to five days, that's pretty extreme. And it's, it needs to be tightened up a little bit, I think. Um, and if it is five days, it's five days. I mean, we have to roll with whatever it is. But um, it's a, there's a lot of frustration. The whole town's very, very frustrated. PG&E crews are bringing power back to 70% of the 60,000 customers across Sonoma, Napa, and Lake Counties, and in the Sierra foothills. While some say the preventative measure helped them rest easy at night, others found the outage a bit aggressive, suggesting that only portions of Calistoga near the hillside be cut off, rather than the city limits where the wind gusts, they say, are slower. And the next step for a lot of business owners out here is to call up their insurance companies and see whether they're going to be compensated because they're now concerned about that and the loss of revenue if this happens again and for a longer period of time. PG&E says they understand how important power is to their customers, but right now safety comes first. Live in downtown Calistoga, Ellis Sigamonian, Cron4 News.